Zone Gaming. What's going on, guys? Talibok again here uh, with the uh, other part of the tutorial on how to uh, watch movies on your PS PS3. So this time I'm going to show you how to convert your MKV files. Uh, since uh, PS3 uh, doesn't support that format or file extension so most files you will acquire uh, are in this format series and movies so I'm gonna uh, going to show you how to convert this uh, into a file that can be watched uh, on the PS3. So you'll want to download the program called MKV to VOB as you see here. PS3 video converter. So simply click browse and find whatever file you want. So take, let's take this test file here. So you'll also want to choose the destination di directory, directory, uh, which is simply where it will. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, where it will uh, end up. And uh, in here in configuration, you can choose a whole lot of uh, options. So preferred audio language. Uh, it uh, will depend on what uh, options there are in the movie. For example, if you download a movie <coughs> or have a movie, if you have a movie that's uh, that has different languages and uh, subtitles, you can choose what language you want and what subtitles uh, you want as well. And if you have a subtitle uh, as, as a separate file, you can also choose to add that one. So here you see file splitting, and since you can't move files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes to your FAT32 hard drive, you'll need to check this one. So video tra transcoding is on automatic, output put file extension is the automatic as well. You can choose pretty much any of these I suppose, but the automatic works. Output type, file, uh, and preferred subtitle language you can choose, transcoding codec. Uh, depends on what the quality you want. So the higher quality you want, the slower it, w the process will go. And here ho are some various options, like always encode subti subtitles. So I have uh, this one checked. It's uh, it means that if you have, for example, a movie called Test in a folder and you also have a subtitle file you have to name the subtitle file test as well in order for it to uh, get uh, burned into the movie so here are some other th things I have on always Tranco DTS uh, you can choose to uncheck that if you want but I have it because uh, Sometimes you can lose the sound and the sound can get very bad, so I uh, have that checked. And I have automatic update on as well. So let's go ahead and click add file here. In here you can see the status. It says maxing. And here you can see the file being created. Uh, if here you can check delete source file after conversion so if I choose this file to convert it will be and I had that checked it will be deleted after 
this one is created. So it really doesn't take that long, uh, depending on the size of the the file you want to convert, on what transcoding codec you have, and if you have a subtitle on, it will take uh, a way longer than it uh, will uh, without. So here you can see completed. You can go ahead and press clear and exit this program. And here you see it's the file. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty simple. Since um, most f uh, files that are Blu-ray uh, have this uh, file extension, it's a very good program to use. It's very simple, it's quick, and it gets the job done. Uh, what you may notice is that the file size may be a bit bigger or smaller depending on what options you have. As you see here this, this one got about uh, 39 megabytes bigger uh, but when you have bigger larger movies it can uh, be a pretty big difference. So yeah that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you. Uh, Telebonkoken out. Bye.